What's going on guys, this is Jacob Amaral. Usually at the end of each month, I go over my automated trading system performance. And this year I was a little bit lazy. We're gonna do the quarterly result instead, but if you do want me to do the monthly, let me know in the comments below. We're gonna be going over Q1 2025 and how well my automated trading systems did. Did they make money or did they lose money? Anyways, let's get started. So I was up about 3% for the quarter, first quarter of 2025. Uh, here is the equity chart of my trading systems. Remember, percentage is what matters. Uh, so being up 3% is awesome. Obviously, the market uh, s and is down about 7% year to date. So that is incredible. I'm beating the market for the first quarter. Hopefully, that continues the rest of the year. Stats, uh, 3%. So I wouldn't look at the net profits. Definitely over-traded 2,047 trades for the first quarter. That's a lot, uh, and that's going to be decreased success... Uh, a lot for for Q2, so expect that uh, I expect for Q2 that number to get cut in a third. Uh, I have sunsetted a lot of day trading systems, intraday systems. I've just noticed that they're a lot more random. They're not following the back test as much, and I've been having more success with systems that actually trade less. So having less variance in my trading systems, I'm going to be making a couple of videos about variance and why it's important. Sometimes you don't want systems that trade very often because you will get more, more variance. Uh, you can have longer losing streaks, potentially lo longer winning streaks, but usually that randomness uh, eats up the profits. So I'll be talking about variance in a couple, couple of videos in the future, but I do plan on reducing my trade. Well, the, the trades will definitely be reduced. I sunsetted a lot of intraday systems. 46% uh, trade win, win rate, that doesn't really mean much. Average trade, $30 per contract. So I want that number above 50, usually $50 per contract plus is what I'm looking for. But it does show that I have an edge for Q1. Uh, average trades per day 33. I know that sounds like a lot. Average time in the market, you can see 638 minutes, this has increased dramatically. Uh, if you looked at my previous performance videos, you'll see this number was probably 60 minutes, 100 minutes. And that's because I've been introducing a longer hold time for a lot of my systems. Uh, so swing trading overnight, trading the 24 hour session, um, that sort of thing. And yeah, I think those are the, the most performance, the, the most important. Average trade is usually the most important. Win rate doesn't mean anything. Uh, Sharp of 0.17, Certino 0.51, profit factor 1.05. And obviously most of the money was made on the short side as most markets have been down. Uh, stock indices have been down, oil has been down, nat gas, a lot of markets are following that kind of downtrend. Market is, well, we'll do Q1 as today's April. Yeah, so market was probably down six or 5% uh, at the end of Q1. So beating the market by almost 6%, which is uh, incredible. I do want to reduce the amount of trades that are happening and build systems that have longer hold times. I just, I'm so done with the noise and the variance in intraday systems. They can be great, you know, when you have those super volatile events, but those don't happen very often and you get into longer drawdowns. So uh, we'll be building more systems that have longer hold times, reduce the variance in my trades. Uh, as of right now, I'm trading 10 intraday systems um, and then roughly 20 to 30 plus either swing trading systems or systems that trade the, the, the 24 hour session. And excited for Q2, we're seeing volatility really creep up. Uh, VIX hit the 60 handle. Yeah, it hit the 60 handle, or sorry, 52, according to, I, th I thought it was 60 intraday. It might've been 60 intraday, but it has not hit that since um, 2020. So that was incredible. Uh, yeah, I've caught some really good shorts on the stock indices, uh, Bitcoin shorts, oil shorts. So very excited. Um, I've had a couple systems that have been dogs. I have a Dow Jones system that, has gone past its max drawdown by 20% and just been an absolute dog this year. But so far, as you can see, I'm profitable for Q1. Most of my systems are net profitable. So yeah, very excited for Q2. Hope this volatility increases. Don't really care what the market does. 
I just want my systems to do well and we'll just trade through them. So if you found value in this video, let me know in the comments below and let me know if you want to, if you want me to go back to the monthly videos, if you prefer that over quarterly. Uh, I think I was getting kind of burnt out doing the monthly videos. I felt like it was a not giving you guys enough value, but over this quarter, I've gotten some emails and some messages on discord uh, saying that you guys missed the, the monthly video. So I think I will go back to it. Um, so I know I'm a little late with this quarter, but we'll get back to the monthly videos if that's the consensus. Uh, that's all I got. Hope you found value and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye guys.